This is one of the coolest images released so far from JWST. It's an enormous nebula called the Pillars of Creation, a massive cloud of space dust and space gas, and within it, countless brand new stars are being formed as we speak. Now, thanks to a brand new visualization created by NASA, we can see the nebula in 3D, zoom around the pillars, and compare the images from JWST and an older image from Hubble too. It is super cool, and I wanted to show it off in this video so that you all get a chance to see it right here. The nebula was made famous in 1995 by the Hubble image, and that's what we start with in this video. Which, by the way, is the most detailed multi-wavelength movie yet made of this beautiful nebula. As we start to zoom in and around the pillars, we fade into the JWST image. While the Hubble image was taken in visible light, so it's seeing the nebula as our eyes would see it too. The JWST image is taken with infrared light, so it's more of a heat map of the nebula. But here it's been transformed into visible colors so that we can compare the two images. As we start to fly past, we can really start to appreciate the 3D structure of the pillars and how they look different in the Hubble and JWST images. In these clouds, clumps of dust and gas start to stick together, get bigger and bigger, and eventually collapse under gravity to form more and more brand new stars. The heat from all of these young stars causes the enormous pillars to heat up and glow. Around the pillars, we see gas streaming off of them, as heat causes some of the gas to be thrown off of those pillars. It might not look like it at first, but there are actually four pillars here. See if you can spot all of them, including the smallest one. They're made of molecular hydrogen and dust, and they are constantly being eroded by the hot ultraviolet radiation coming from those newly formed stars. To give you a sense of scale, our entire solar system that we live in from the sun out to beyond Pluto, would easily fit on the very tip of any one of those pillars. So the entire nebula is almost incomprehensibly large. The tallest pillar alone is three light years tall. That's 18 trillion miles or 27 trillion kilometers. Since we can only see the front of the pillars from our point of view on Earth, we need to do some science to create these 3D views. Here, it's not an artistic interpretation. The video is based on scientific data and recreating what we expect it to look like in 3D. Take a pinch of salt because it is still a model, but it should be an incredibly accurate recreation. Combining the Hubble and JWST data lets us see the pillars in more complete detail across the electromagnetic spectrum, and that helps us recreate them in 3D, giving this amazing new view of an iconic structure. Most of the stars have been removed in the 3D video. You can see thousands of them in the regular 2D image from JWST, but this 3D video helps us see how these complex and amazing telescopes work together. Hubble sees hot objects better, while JWST instruments are sensitive to cooler, lower energy infrared light, meaning it's better at seeing cooler objects that are just a few hundred degrees. Oh. Also, let's go back to this moment in the video, where we fly past the end of this pillar. Does this look like a horse head with its tongue poking out to you, or is it just me? Let me know if you can see it too, because I think about it every time I watch this video. In the 3D visualization, we can see several stages of star formation. As we head towards the central pillar, we can see an embedded baby star, or protostar, at the top, and it's glimmering bright red in infrared light. Near the top of the left pillar, there's a diagonal jet of material being ejected from a newborn star. We can't see the star itself as it's shrouded in dust and gas, but the jet tells us that there must be a star in there. Finally, at the end of one of the left pillar's uh, fingers, we find a brand new fully formed star. Another fun thing that NASA has released are files to 3D print the pillars yourself. So if you have a 3D printer or you know someone that does, you can now fairly easily print them at home and feel the pillars for yourself as you explore them in 3D. This sounds super fun and it's something I'm hoping to do soon, but please let me know how it goes if you manage to do it before I do. I will leave links to all of this in the description of this video, along with links to the original NASA 3D visualization of the pillars. If you want to know more about the nebula in general and specifically the 2D JWST image, then I have a full video all about that that goes into way more detail about what we're looking at, 
rather than just gushing about how fun this new video is. So please feel free to check that out. I'll also leave it in the description and probably up here too. If you'd like, you can also check out a comparison zoom between JWST and Hubble as well. I'll also leave that in the description. I hope you enjoyed this quick video showing off a fun new visualization. Please leave me any comments or questions you have down below and thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye.